Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Jane, CMC's intern, and today we're going to be learning how to press leaves. Now remember, for leaves you never want to gather from a trailhead or public land, only from your own private property. For supplies you will need leaves of your choice. I used four here and different varieties, but you can use however many in whatever variety you would like. Next, you'll need a pen with black ink, some tape or super glue, your choice. Next, a sketch pad or a notepad of your choice. These are the final supplies you will need to make pressed leaves. Once the leaves are pressed, there are many projects you can do with them, like making flower crowns, making necklaces, or just having a cool layout on a page. First, what you want to do is find the perfect layout for your leaves. Open your sketchbook and start placing leaves on them. There's this layout, or this layout. I personally liked the first one, so that's how I'm going to be laying out my leaves. Next, take your tape and tape down the leaves so that they lay flat on the page. Next, close your sketchbook and tightly bind it. Next, place books on top of it so that there's a lot of weight on top of the sketchbook. This will help press out the water for the leaves and preserve them. Finally, wait a week. Once you've waited a week, you can open up the sketchbook and see the leaves. The leaves should have a paper-like consistency now. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our black pen and start doing some cool designs on the leaves. So, whatever you want to do, let your creativity flow. And here's the final product. Now these pressed leaves have a cool layout on the page and a little bit of art combined. This is the cool project to do with kids or just for yourself. And remember, always take leaves from private property, your private property, and never from public lands or trailheads. You want to ensure that you're leaving no trace on public lands.